What's good everyone, it's Lou Balls. So, um, I took a little bit of video. I was actually uh, removing some baby scorpions, um, emperor scorpions from the mother. She just recently had some babies and they're starting to, they just molted and they're starting to come off her back and explore. Um, and I figured I'd do some video while I remove the babies. There's not a lot of footage of stuff like this on the internet. So I figured it'd be something really cool to actually document and put on video. So um, uh, I know when I was doing research on scorpions, uh, I was looking for things like this and I can't find too many. There's maybe two, one or two videos that I've seen ever of something like this. And it's usually already set up. So. Um, yeah, I figured this would be a really good opportunity to get this uh, footage of removing this. So I dropped off a lot of the audio out and um, I did the voiceover to explain what was going on. So um, this is something new to me, um, a, a, a cool little passion project on the side I have with some scorpions, the Asian forest scorpions and, and this specifically for this one is the emperor scorpions that I have. I thought it was a really cool experience for me. The kids really enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it too. All right, so here she is, trying to take one of the babies out while she's still in there, but it's not happening. As you can see, she's running me right out of the tank, absolutely trying to give me the business. I had to turn the volume down because I had music in the background, but you can see. She's smacking the glass, you can hear all of it. Uh, she has about seven babies in there. I think she had some time uh, around 10 or 11, but I don't think all of them made it out of the molting stage. Um, so we only have seven in there. I counted all of them. I'm keeping an eye on, on them as soon as they got off her back. <laughs> you can see she's fighting. she's fighting me the whole time. She's protecting them this whole time. So I figured my best bet is to get her out of the tank. Um, it'll be safer for me, safer for her, and it'll actually give me a chance to get the babies out one by one. Now I'm trying to pick them up really lightly, so I'm using a spoon so I can put them in these little condiment cups at least until they get a little bit bigger and feed them um, cut up pieces of mealworms and bugs I gotta crush the heads to make sure that they don't uh, get attacked or anything like that but yeah there she kind of dug a hole in the corner of the water the, the water bowl so um, I have to remove the water bowl and then try to come at them they're all bunched up in the corner, uh, either trying to protect each other or just trying to get away from any danger. And you can see some of them, I mean, they're feisty little guys. They're, they were moving around the whole time. And I got the kids in the room with me, and so they're enjoying watching it. So in the cups, I have um, some coconut mixed with um, some topsoil and a little bit of sphagnum moss to keep some moisture, give them somewhere to hide at least until they get into a bigger cup so I can put something, uh, a piece of a cork bark in there so they can hide under. They usually like to dig in it anyway, but I keep them shallow so I can keep an eye on them and figure out where they are. These guys are real little. They haven't even developed any color yet. They're starting to, some of them, um, if you can see, they're starting to turn gray, so their, their, their shells are hardening, but they're still really uh, translucent. You can almost see all the way through them. They're like little, little walking ghosts. Now, I kind of cut it out because it looked like dead air since I have everything focused on the tank itself, but I had to, uh, when a couple of them got out and I had to chase them around the table. Uh, these guys are little crazy ones. As 
as small as they are, you can see they're trying to defend themselves. They're super feisty. They're probably about three weeks old. I think they were born uh, June 17th or 18th or something like that. Is when she started having them. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. Because, like I said, their shells haven't even hardened yet. They're super fragile. Like he's trying to jump out and stuff. I think they're so cool. The only reason why I removed them is because sometimes the mother, though she'll protect the crap out of them, um, if she, if I put any food in there, it could attack the babies and the mother needs the food. If not, she'll start eating the babies themselves. Um, so I have to separate them to make sure that she doesn't feed she doesn't feed on them and so that I can try to keep back as many as I can. I'm trying to create uh, a future breeding project with some of these. And so uh, not a lot of people breed emperor scorpions. Most of the ones you find nowadays at least are I mean ever is in the wild and they capture a bunch of them usually in the season where they're having babies so I believe this one came out of the wild already pregnant um, the guy I got her from said that he got her and whoever sold him to sold her to him uh, said it was wild caught and she may be pregnant so Yeah, I've had her for since November of last year, uh, November 21, and it took until the beginning of last month or the middle of last month before she had any babies. So they can incubate for almost a year. God knows how long she was pregnant before that. So here I'm just trying to clean up the tank for her. So. Um, uh, she had made a mess of it when she started nesting and everything, so she uprooted all the plastic plants and stuff. Um, so I'm just trying to put everything back so she has somewhere to hide and so that it just looks a little bit cleaner. Take a lot of the, the, the leftover uh, stuff from the food and stuff that she had laying around and clean off the rock. I have that stone there actually for future breeding. I thought if she wasn't pregnant, at least I can take the male that I have and use that um, to create a, a breeding program for her. Um, and the males will usually uh, grab the females and uh, deposit their sperm plug onto the stone or a flat, like a flat stone or a flat rock and then pull, they'll, they'll kind of do a dance with the female and then pull her over it. And our reproductive structures will break it open and uh, inseminate her with whatever. And then, of course, she'll have babies like a year later. So you see I'm putting her back in and she's still really, really angry. And you see she goes back to the corner where she was nesting earlier and she realizes there's nothing there or I covered everything up. So she's, she's pissed off. If she could talk, she'd be cursing at me right now. So that's it. babies out nice and safely mom was completely angry at me she drove me out of her enclosure uh, multiple times and uh, I just wanted to set her up and have her nice and clean um, after having her babies off of her as you can see on her back she still had the molts from the babies and um, it's gonna take a while for some of that stuff to flake off and everything after it dries up um, but I'm, I'm happy everyone's safe I got all the babies set up in little cups and, um, and mom is doing great. I'm looking at her right now exploring the, the enclosure. Um, so I gotta give her a little bit of time to settle in. Um, and then I'll start feeding her again. I'm pretty sure once she gets settled in, she'll be back on, on her own self uh, and back eating like normal. Like I said before, I don't get to see that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't get to see this kind of stuff. Um, on YouTube very often, a lot of people don't show that stuff. Worked with tarantula. I mean, I have tarantulas. I work with tarantulas, but 
like the breeding projects for the scorpions that I think are really cool. I would like to see more captive bred um, scorpions, emperor scorpions, and, and Asian forest scorpions, and people actually knowing where they're coming from instead of pulling them from the wild. But that's a concept and, and, a, and a conversation for another video. But either way, like I said, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the to the channel. I do have some more stuff coming, and I do have stuff in the future once I get myself into the groove of doing things. I have this week off, so I'm kind of uh, kind of feeling myself right now. And um, uh, yeah, uh, like the video if you like it. If you like this kind of this kind of stuff, I also have some uh, fall python stuff, which most of you probably know me by. And I'll be showing that stuff very soon. I just I, I got to get some things out the way first. It's been a rough year. And uh, and yeah, turn notifications on. That way when I do come out with new videos, you guys will be the first ones to inform. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being here. And thank you guys for, for watching. Smile big and hustle hard.